Hi, my name is Mike Antoniadis and I'm the Performance Director of the Running School. Today I'm going to talk to you about running tips, but also about running technique. Talking about sprinting drills and where they come in, we use them as part of the warm-up. We also use them as part of the preparation for when we're racing. So sprinting techniques and sprinting drills are very important for teaching the whole of the body the mechanics of how we're going to run fast. So all of them need to be technically correct, so the way the arms are moving, the way the legs are moving, where it's landing, absolute technique is a must. Also, they all need to be happening fast. So you can't just go through it as part of the warm-up at a low level. They need to be stimulating the nervous system. So the faster we work, the better prepared the body is. So every sprinter has his own position, his own measurements based on which leg is at the back, which leg is at the front. This is the, the ready position, so the set position with the fingers behind the line. And then the final position just before they push off Body comes upright, ready to explode down the track. And this is the final push off of, of the sprinter, coming up to the, the ready position and then pushing off. And we'll just show you that again as he comes up and go. Now if we look at this sprinter who's running, his characteristics are slightly different. So all the movements are exaggerated. So the arms are really pumping hard to get the legs to work faster. The foot is landing underneath the centre of gravity so we're not overstriding and we're not braking and therefore losing speed. The body is upright, he's holding his breath because he's only going to be running between 10 and 25 seconds. So remember when you're doing sprinting drills, technique is very important but also the speed that you do them is very important.